tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Guest for today, our organization highlight for today is the Anluwagi Project. And with us today to talk about the project is Mia Factolerin. She is the Education and Advocacy Committee member of the Anluwagi Project. So everyone, let's welcome Mia. Hi, Mia. Are you still so there? We go. Hi, everyone. Hi, Miss Erica. <laughs> Based on me. Um, I am here living at Portero Matis, but um, currently I am studying at Philomer Christian University as a humanities and social sciences student, grade 11. Wow. The Foggy Project, you mentioned Kanina, is a humanitarian and corporation of passionate, committed, um, empowered individuals that seeks to provide solutions that um, in the community. Especially, yung focus at focus talaga namin is to protect human rights. And then, yun na mention naman, may four sub-programs yung Anluwagi that I will be discussing later. And also, the history of why the Anluwagi, the Anluwagi Project was called the Anluwagi Project. So, next slide, please. So, that is the official logo of the Anluwagi Project. As you can see, my little hammer there, kasi kanina, um, the Anuwagi means uh, it is a deep Filipino term for carpenters. We in the Anuwagi project, we believe that the youth of the day are mission builders. Kumbaga may power and bosses tayo na mag, uh, to create a change and difference not only in the Philippines, not only in our community, but also in the world. The Anuwagi that children and the youth will be the driving force in helping and inspiring the future and generation to give positive influence in their communities. So, ayon, uh, next slide. Mission. Our mission is to build a stronger nation by empowering the children and the youth through acts of humanitarian services, education, volunteerism, and awareness. As a one project, uh, we really give importance Sa mga core values na yan. So, we make sure as members, we possess naman these core values. Kasi, how can you make an organization um, effective, no? If ikaw mismo na members, hindi ka well-equipped, di ba? So, um, ano this organization is to develop leadership skills among youth and student leaders through leadership. Uh, with leadership development activities and programs. So, ayun, ayun nga, later on, I will present uh, a past activity ng the Anuwagi Project, that, which I am a product of it. Ooh. Yeah, I am a product of that uh, mm -hmm. leadership training na very unique talaga among all the leadership trainings that I had. Two is to promote and implement programs and projects for the welfare of the youth and children. Three, to serve as voice of youth and children in the protection of their rights and privileges. So, ayun nga, I have mentioned kanina, the focus and focus talaga in the Anuwagi project is to protect human rights. Protect human rights of women, children, and youth. The Filipino term for carpenters. Kaya tinawag na Anuwagi Project Organization because we believe that we are mission builders. We are capable of fixing the world through acts of giving and inspiring. The main goal of the Anuwagi Project is to educate the children and the youth by providing them proper knowledge, skill, self awareness, humanitarian services, and voluntary acts. So, okay. What makes Anuwagi Project unique is we have our four sub-programs. Next. So, these four sub-programs, parang dito kami nagbe-base ng aming mga projects or activities. Um, first is education. Its main goal is to empower and educate. The program wants to train the children and the youth to be aware of the common issues arising in their own communities and how they could fix it in their own way through seminars and symposiums. Next slide. Next sub-program is we have the community. We also focus on the community 
and we want to provide solutions to the problem faced by communities like lack of water resources, the very wrong pan talaga sa mga low lying areas, sa mga barangays, libraries, comfort rooms, and classrooms to be building facilities which could help them. Um, building facilities for communities which needs them and training the beneficiaries in voluntary services by helping hand and hand to make these facilities into reality. Mm -hmm. um, this sub program seeks to provide charitable works for the Filipino youth and the children. The main goal of this sub program is to reach different places in the Philippines to give groceries, school supplies, and donations alongside their proper training and seminars. So, um, in the light of recent events, yung typhoon Ulysses and typhoon Rolly grabe talaga yung damage na they caused sa Luzon area. So, later on, I will um, present yung ang yung ginawa namin um, noon. So, next slide for, okay. Okay, ang Dami Wagi Project also um, focuses on the youth. This sub-program's main goal is to inspire the Filipino youth to give out their fullest potential. The Anuwagi Project will be the training ground in actually in the field of interest like sports, arts, and academics. Because the Anuwagi Project believes that we have the platform, we have the voice, we have the potential and power to influence others and to create a difference even in just, sim even in just a simple act. So, ayun. A while ago, that you personally started the last year. Correct? Did yeah. I read it? Okay. How did, you, how did you find out about the Anawagi project? What's your story? Okay. The founder kasi is my um my close friend, my ate, when I was in junior high school pa lang. So, they started na na 11 na sila, tapos 4 lang yung mga youth there. So, they decided na what if we will extend our circle. So, uh, by that time, yung junior high school pa lang ako, I was interested na. Kasi, um, elementary pa lang ng junior high school, I was engaged na in, um, in leadership, in serving, I was engaged na. And I am, uh, I am trying to find an organization that suits my advocacy and mm -hmm. can own me as an individual and as a citizen. So there I found the Nuwagi. Nice! Okay. It's very nice. Donation drives and fundraising activities. So as you can see, uh, that was held in Siguro so, sa PN last 2017. Hindi pa ako a member noon, but I know because of Ate Flory na. Um, they raised funds nagbenta sila ng mga keychains, ng mga um, mga stocks para sa isang uh, um, beneficiary. So, next slide please. Ayun. Um, we also do donation drives. This is hashtag bangon copies because we were affected by the typhoon Ursula. So, we collected um, uh, donations from different organizations or private sectors. And there, as you can see, our founder, Atitori, with the goods that we um, had produced. And there, in the right, is our governor, Nakita Coordinated Kamisahanya, to make this um, humanitarian act more um, meaningful. Next. To those students who are struggling as of now, kasi yung online class, no, as we all know, very draining talaga. So, uh, the Aluwagi Project um, collaborated with Pinagmaan, financial assistance. So, we gave financial assistance to those students who are deserving ng mapapigyan. And uh, that helped them in their financial system and their families. Next slide. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.